Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn about HTTP delete request. You might already know that there are different HTTP methods or we call them as verbs and each one is used for different purpose. HTTP delete method is straightforward. This method is used to delete a resource. We have already implemented different methods including HTTP patch. If you are interested, do check the playlist. You will find all the related videos. Now, okay, now we are going to handle HTTP delete request in this web API. First step is to add new action method. I have added new action method. Name of the action method is delete to do item. And next step is to decorate this action method with proper HTTP attribute. We are going to decorate it with HTTP delete attribute. As it is going to delete specific item, we are going to we are going to have placeholder for ID. I will specify the placeholder. ID is going to be the placeholder. And this delete to do item action method will take parameter. That will be int id. Next, we are going to fetch existing item. So, in our case, as I already mentioned in our previous video, we have not implemented any database yet. For now, this list is our data source. And I will query this database. We are going to use link query. We are going to check. We are okay with first or default item. We are going to fetch item whose ID is going to match the ID that has been passed to this delete to do item method. Now we are going to have null check. If existing item, if this is null, then what are we going to do? We are going to we are going to return this method will send proper status code to the response. If we have the item, then we are going to delete that item. That's it. Simply, we have removed this item. We have removed this item from the data source. So after deleting, we are going to return this OK response. Along with this OK response, we have passed this existing item. That's it. Our delete logic is done. Look at this factor. We have one more endpoint. This endpoint is going to handle HTTP delete request. Let's try it out. Before executing this delete endpoint, I will show you. I'll show you the existing items. I will execute this get all endpoint. See, as of now, we have two items. One is with ID one, and this one with ID two. Now I'm going to delete the item whose ID is one. So I will pass one as parameter. Execute. See, I have put breakpoint here. See, we have received one as parameter, and now we are going to delete that. This is our response 200 OK. So it says this item has been deleted. Let's verify this. Once again, I'm going to execute this get all endpoint. See, record has been deleted from our data source. This is how we can implement action method that is going to handle HTTP delete request. Okay, let's quickly summarize this HTTP delete request. This is very simple. HTTP delete requests are used to delete resources. And if we want to handle HTTP request in our web API, we have to have action method, which is decorated with HTTP delete attribute then as usual we are going to write logic that will delete item from our data source that's it that's it for today's session i hope the session was useful see you soon in the next video thanks to you